Amid ever more alarming warnings about Russia's intentions, today Ukraine's military put on a show of strength for the media. Troops and police conducting joint exercises watched by the president, who continues to play down the threat. All this information that helps only for panic doesn't help us. But at the United States Embassy, non-essential staff are packing up and leaving. Consular functions are being shifted closer to the Polish border as the U.S. tells its citizens to go before it's too late. We're in the window uh, when a Russian invasion can start at any time if President Putin so decides. That includes in the coming days. Despite that, there is still no sign of a rush to leave. These American teachers were flying to London anyway, but are now delaying their return until the crisis is resolved. What about your families? Have they been on the phone sort of worried? They're just super worried. They're afraid that like Russia's going to come invade. They're afraid for our safety. Like, they're worried about our ability to get home. So. British citizens like Stuart McKenzie are also preparing to leave with his family. After 20 years living here, he's decided not to take any chances and is temporarily relocating to Poland. You just don't gamble, right? If there's a 1% chance, then that's 1% too much. And for what reason? I, I don't need to stay here. My job, luckily enough, as I said, in my circumstances, means I can be located anywhere. Um, so I, I don't need to put in that risk at all. There is no panic in Kiev, but there is plenty of evidence of defiance. Thousands marched through the capital today in support of the government with a message they will resist any occupation. Most Ukrainians appear sceptical this crisis will result in a full-scale invasion of their country, but every new warning for foreigners to leave immediately is giving many a reason to reflect on the awful consequences of a war with Russia. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Kyiv.